It is not your imagination. The rate of homelessness in Yuba and Sutter counties and the cities of Marysville and Yuba City is higher than the average for the entire state. The rate of homelessness here is twice that of the nation as a whole. That is what our clients come to Yuba Sutter for and they stare at homeless encampments and they stare at filth along the rivers and trash along the rivers that is left over. I, I used to be a very wealthy person. I lost all my money in 2008 when the market crashed. <laughs> I owned the pump works. It's still in operations. We installed pumps and domestic wells. And then my parents owned Feather River Trophies. So I've, I've ran the Duck and Pheasant Club, which all the sheriffs were members of out in Rio. So. And I, I was the youngest member to ever join the Moose Lodge here. The assumptions around homelessness are that if there's medical problems, it's either mental health or drugs. The idea that you would have people who use scooters or need walkers or wheelchairs or have oxygen tanks or have high blood pressure, diabetes. We see a lot of people with diabetes. Depression is another big one. Well, they must have done something, right? They must have done something to end up that way. A lot of people will say, so what'd you do? How'd you end up this way? Well, my wife had cancer. We deal with the homeless in a wide range of uh, incidents, everything ranging from uh, mental health incidents to public intoxication to, you know, sleeping in public to, um, you know, littering and trash accumulation. Uh, sometimes defecate in public. That the homeless are in places where uh, you don't expect it. Um, so you need to be careful where you sit, what you touch. Um, I was actually down there with my mom, her husband, my uncle, my aunt, my cousin, her husband. So for about 14 years now, I've been trying to bring hope. And I think uh, uh, food is a vital part of hope and just the understanding that you are a part of God's kingdom, that you are loved, and despite how others may treat you, God loves you, and there is hope for you. you because you're down now doesn't mean you'll always be down. Nine percent of our kindergartners have experienced homelessness within their first five years.